There are few moments in life as exciting as adopting a pet, though this big step comes with a few risks. Besides the additional responsibility and household adjustments, you can never be quite sure what you're bringing into your home. What if your new pal starts showing some unexpected traits? That's the dilemma this Wisconsin woman faced in 2018, when her pet's strange behavior nearly drove her to the brink. Once she figured out the root cause, however, she leapt into action. Cat families usually don't stay together for long, and that's just the nature of the beast. Litters of kittens spend their first couple weeks together before happily moving on to different human parents most of the time Alana Hadley of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin, happened to be on the lookout for a new pet companion. The sheer number of options were staggering. As much as she wanted to, Alana knew she couldn't take all the animals home. So, she decided to adopt a critter that was in real need of love and protection. Alana visited the Wisconsin Humane Society in 2018 and had an inkling that she was going to go out on a bit of a limb. Already being a proud dog owner, Alana thought that another canine might be more than she could handle. A cat, on the other hand, would be the perfect addition. Alana even had her eye on one. There was a beautiful gray tabby cat, who was aptly named Aphrodite. When Alana asked the Humane Society staff about her, however, it turned out this kitty was already due for a happy home. But Aphrodite wasn't alone. She had a brother. Aries sported similar tabby stripes, but in a striking orange pattern. For Alana, it was love at first sight. Before she knew it, she was driving back home with Aries at her side. Alana gave her new friend every comfort in the world a cat could ask for. And yet, Aries still seemed off somehow. He would meow incessantly and wander around the house. Did he need more attention? The concerned cat mom got Aries a few stuffed animals to snuggle up to, and this fix worked for a while. But before too long, the kitten's behavior got worse than ever. Aries' outbursts grew so severe that Alana began losing sleep. Getting more than a few hours of shut-eye was out of the question, thanks to the non-stop whine echoing from down the hall. Both day and night, Aries would sit by the door and cry. The kitten had no shortage of food, toys, or bedding, which sent Alana's mind spiraling. She had to get this cat to calm down. She wished it were possible to just read Aries' mind. Of course, it wasn't like cats were that complex. Alana told herself they really only needed the essentials in a bit of love. That was when it hit her. Back at the shelter, Aries was inseparable from his sister Aphrodite. His incessant meowing might just have been cries of loneliness, Alana figured. She wondered if her abode could become a two-cat household. That next morning, she made her way back to the Humane Society to look into Aphrodite's pending adoption. Tragically, Alana found she was too late. Who knew where Aphrodite had ended up? The shelter staff understood Alana's plight, but there was little they could do at that point. It was almost as if Aphrodite had been snatched out from under her nose. By a cat burglar, if you will. Both Alana and Ares sulked around the house the next couple days, until an unexpected phone call caught them by surprise. Her hand trembling, Alana answered the call from the Humane Society. In a miraculous twist, the other adoptee candidate backed out at the last second. Alana filled out the paperwork in a fury. She couldn't wait to see the feline siblings reunited after all this hardship. Ares and Aphrodite's response immediately proved that Alana did the right thing. They happily curled up next to each other and, for the first time in weeks, Ares wasn't crying out for anything. To Alana's delight, the cats also took care of each other. Even if they can see each other, they don't like not being right next to each other, she explained. That caring spirit is what drove the Homeless Animal Adoption League to take action. See, when the Homeless Animal Adoption League was alerted that someone had abandoned some kittens on a street nearby, they decided to investigate. But once they arrived, they quickly realized the situation wasn't at all what it had seemed. Sure enough, when they arrived at the scene, they found the basket sitting on the curb. What they didn't expect was what they'd discover next. Inside of the basket, they identified a mother cat and her six teeny kittens. The rescuer said it was as if she recognized that they were there to help her and her family. Something in her expression made them feel that she knew she'd need help in order to survive her ordeal. Everyone was completely in awe of this feline's motherly intuition. The team quickly brought the little feline family back to the shelter, where they fed and washed them as soon as they could. Once that was done, it was time for a thorough examination. The veterinarian then gave the kittens their checkups to make sure they were all in good health. The next day, it was time for the mother cat's checkup. That's when things took a wild turn. As the veterinarian began to examine, he noticed something so bizarre that he had to tell the rest of the team right away. 
The sudden revelation was more than shocking to the staff. The mother of the litter was actually a male. The shelter workers speculated that he may have been the father or a brother cat from another litter, but there was no way of proving that at first glance. In fact, he could just as easily have been a random male who came across the little kittens and decided to keep them company. One thing was certain, he wasn't a mother, but he was their mother figure. No matter his actual relationship to the kittens, the male cat stepped up into the role of surrogate mom with such a plum that the shelter workers named him Mrs. Outfire. The name was fitting since he'd fulfilled both parental roles. Granted, chances are good that this cat was not disguising himself as an old British woman in order to spend more time with his children after a difficult divorce. Thankfully, Mrs. Doubtfire and his kitten family were determined to be in good health, meaning they will all be looking for new homes. Now that's a potentially happy ending worthy of being in a movie. Hopefully, the kitten's future owners look after them the same way Mrs. Doubtfire did. He sure set an example that would make anyone proud. It's proof you don't have to be a biological mom to love like one. These kittens were certainly lucky. Cats as a species are usually not very social, and male cats, in particular, can be very aggressive and sometimes even violent with kittens. Let's just hope that these kittens are treated much better than their previous owner, and they find people who can provide them with loving forever homes, too. No matter where these kittens do end up doing, they are sure to be forever grateful to Mrs. Doubtfire. Or really, Mrs. Doubtfur. But even with this Mr. Mom's loving care, there is still something to say about a mother's touch. There's no bond quite like the one between a mother and her child. Dedicated mothers often make big sacrifices to take care of their young ones, even in the animal world. One nonprofit worker regularly saw this firsthand. To say Margie Morris is a cat lover would be a big understatement. That's why she made sure there were no crates or cages at Project Pur Animal Rescue in Mobile, Alabama. This nonprofit director wanted a free range home for her friends. Over 100 cats run free through the several suites of this strip mall based rescue center. Each of them chow down on a few thousand dollars worth of kibble and soil 200 pounds of cat litter as a unit, daily. To say Margie, back right, loved her rescued cats would be an understatement. But in her handling of hundreds of cats and adoptions, she rarely encountered anything quite like what she found in July of 2017. On a Thursday morning, Margie rolled into work only to find two cardboard boxes stacked on top of each other outside the front door of her office. On further inspection, they proved to be quite strange. Punched holes peppered the boxes, and someone had sloppily wrapped them with duct tape. Margie's stomach sank. She suspected she knew what was in those boxes. Margie and the shelter staff opened the top box and confirmed Margie's suspicions. Inside lay a mother cat alongside two orange kittens, both five weeks old. And in the second box? Fearing the worst, Margie and her team opened the second box, and it was empty. Evidence suggested, however, that the box once held a cat who'd escaped her cardboard prison. This was a problem she would worry about later. In the meantime, cat-loving Margie had a clear and present problem, the mother cat and her kittens. She named the mother Caroline and the kittens Shiloh and Neil. Then, she did what she did best and helped the cats out. Margie gave Caroline extra cat food with vitamins to bulk her up and set up a little bed and a little kennel for her to keep Shilu and Neil safe. Meanwhile, at the rescue, the kittens had the time of their lives. As small as they are, Margie, right, said, the kittens will play, and they're wrestling each other and jumping around, and they cuddle up next to the mom. She loves them, and she's taking very good care of them. But Caroline also had a secret. Even with two kittens to care for, Caroline was pregnant. Margie suspected she'd become pregnant shortly after birthing Shilu and Neil, and that the new litter would be weeks away. But just a couple of days after her discovery, Caroline went into labor and delivered four more adorable kittens. But something didn't add up to Margie when she did the math. Given the timeline, there was no chance Shilu and Neil were Caroline's true cat kids. She adopted the little tykes herself, taking a couple lonely kittens under her paw. Talk about a motherly instinct. But then, who was the true mother of Shilu and Neil? Once again, Margie had her suspicions, the cat who escaped the empty cardboard box. And soon, coincidentally, a rescue worker spotted something curious outside. On Saturday morning, there was another cat spotted running around the parking lot of our little strip mall, Margie said. Myself and three team volunteers tried to catch her. She was getting up in the car engines, Margie said, and we couldn't catch her. It was pouring down rain. We tried to bribe her with food, but we just were unsuccessful. We're hoping that she's still out there somewhere. It's unknown whether Project Per Animal Rescue ever caught the loosed cat, 
and if she truly was the mother of Shilu and Neil. But nevertheless, Margie knew Caroline had the kitten situation under control. See, Caroline could have escaped her cardboard box if she'd wanted. A desperate cat with sharp claws can do anything she puts her mind to. But she stayed with her adopted children and protected them. I'm just grateful that she didn't run away and leave the babies, Margie said. I think that might be the best thing I love about that cat, she did not leave those babies, she's the best mom ever. And with her four new kittens, Caroline still didn't shirk her responsibilities toward Shiloh and Neil. She took care of them and her new babies. She was the best thing to ever land on Project Per Animal Rescue's doorstep.